Okay, so we've got a quick look today at a new item we've received. This microphone I've already got set up. The newer microphone is a bit too open. It basically picks up too much from the other side. So what I'm going to do now is do a quick unboxing of this microphone, which is a Behringer Microphone XM8500. It's a dynamic cardioid vocal microphone. It comes nicely packaged in a box case. So let's see. Okay, so a couple of papers and there's the oh okay it's got a good weight to it that's the microphone there let's go this way not massive it's got a great case and it's got a little holder so this reminds me of the old cassettes you know you used to have cassettes you used to have cassettes and it used to have like a holder but yeah anyway that is that so what we'll do is I'll quickly show you well let you listen to what it sounds like so what that means is I will have to unplug the microphone I'm using this one and plug that in so let me do that so check one now so if I was to say to you what mic do you have there the AKG so now I shouldn't hear you yes that echo so now it should be just your speaker mm. there and my speaker here so and if Tony speaks to me check check hello hello so you can hear him there and you can hear him through this mic so so check one now so if I was to say to you what mic do you have there the AKG so now I shouldn't hear you yes. with that echo. So now it should be just your speaker mm. there and my speaker here. So now we're getting better quality. Still gonna adjust it a little bit because we've got a gain quite high here, but we're getting to a place now where the audio sounds a lot better. I might not even need this pop, 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 pop. So I think the reason I got it was so that two person podcast. So I don't want to hear my voice, which I was hearing before. Well, Second present Tony's voice in this one. I didn't want to hear him, but now hopefully this should be better. But I, well, I should have put the headphones on. Why don't I have my headphones on? Three, check one, check, 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 check one, check one, check one. Now we've got the studio set up. Here you can see the next stage, which is microphones, and it's being plugged into my mobile phone, which is recording. And a sound recorder rec forge light i downloaded and this might go straight into that now audio just to make sure we get the best um out of the audio for you guys listening so right now i've gone around the house to pick up what i've got available so this mobile phone here we've got which is the microphone standard earphones with the mic built in i've got another set of earphones here which is slightly broken but the cable i've noticed could be handy because it comes with this third cable which kind of is like a converter from through TRS to normal mono headphones and this lavalier mic's only got two sections on the microphone jack so that doesn't work I tried recording directly into the phone into a sound recorder and that didn't work and um, so I tried to adapt and mix what we've got the final one is more of a reporter's mic that you use uh, I've got it at home I've got the lead for you as well so I thought I'd give you a section to see how that sounds Right now I'm recording directly into the mobile phone which is placed in front of me on a Rec Forge app which is available on the app market, it's Android market. So this shows you how that sounds. And if I do, this is the camera audio directly recording into a Panasonic uh, camcorder which you'll hear a lot of background noise on because there's things you hear that fans and stuff. So that shows you how that it's going to give you the audio three feet away. This is a mobile phone directly close to me. I'll show you how I've adapted it. So the microphone there, that's the earphones. Get rid of those. They're okay, but that's get rid of those. And this reporter's mic, get rid of that. Um, this cable, this cable here, comes with this earphones. So these earphones are Wesley, I think. Them. But basically, these connect to the function there. That just disconnects out. So these were broken anyway, so they're not much use to me. Let's get rid of those. So now here in this cable, you can see there's a mic, mic here, and then that normally goes into the headphones. And the lower section of that has the three connectors that I wanted. So the one, two, and three. One, two, three. So that could technically go in the bottom of the mobile phone and make a mic. The lavalier mic that I've got here has this 
form and this clip to clip it so I take those get rid of the lavalier mic so now I tried that but that didn't work I thought I could put the lavalier mic in there into there and that into the phone but that didn't, it didn't work I think that's still a 3 to 3 as opposed to a 2 to 3 I think you can get these converters where 3 can go into the mobile phone and you have a normal mono or whatever you call it on that side so I've got rid of that so now this I show you what I've done I've basically folded it over to make that mic visible mic so now this form goes over that just like that so now that has become a mic with two wires coming out then I use this clip which was with the lavalier mic there and then I can just clip that here and get rid of all these wires so a rough rough one right now but so that's done so now this I can plug into the phone and this will record the audio so I can show you what that sounds like now it's been plugged into my mobile phone which is recording on a sound recorder RecForge Lite I downloaded and this mic goes straight into that now so now I'm hoping this sounds a lot better well not that better as long as it's audible and you can hear what I'm saying I prefer this option to the rest that I've tried and it was fairly straightforward with the things I had available I'm hoping that helps you out a um, couple of things I'll put in the notes description section to say the mic I had the mics I tried and also this app that I downloaded I might do a little overview of how I downloaded it and set it up because it is quite good it's got a little um, meter on there to show you obviously how high you're speaking and you can adjust that decibels if you're feeling a bit faint some days and talk a bit lower or if you're outside and you're talking a bit higher but that's basically an overview there for you now for the mic setup and how I've set that up here all right guys so I've had a package come through today I'm just going to do a quick unboxing for you on this and it's from uh, if I open that up there it's funny how these uh, Amazon packages come now okay so you can see it there it's the purple panda and it's a microphone so I've had a few microphones you can see in my other video that I've been using and it's a matter of finding the best one so I want to see what it's going to give me the best option so the one i've got was the it's like a boyer shotgun mini shotgun mic copy of that road kind of thing but this has been getting good reviews online and at the moment i'm using like a headset microphone so this should be a lot better so now let's just see what we get okay i've pulled it straight out of there so you've got a bit of a dead cat there to go on the microphone and that is the mic itself Oh, metal okay it's got a metal clip which is really good and it's got a little foam on there so let's just take that off I think okay yeah. oh okay interesting I'll do a little close-up of that that looks quite good quality actually okay so that's the mic itself it's quite a bit of wire with it and something else okay so I like the bag nice little bag like a velvet type um, bag there's a secondary clip which is good in case that one breaks and that i think that's the gopro mount thing there for you but i don't really need that thank you for joining the purple panda family you get a free gift for being our customer claim it using the link below okay Let's see what that is compatibility guide a nice little explanation there of which lead is for which type of um, recording so I wonder if I can plug this in and you can hear it now because I'm recording into my mobile phone and this in theory should should I try it one second okay so I'm gonna unplug my mic this is the purple panda mic and I'm talking directly into this um, there's no muff um, no sound suck on it so if I attach that Hello, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So it's the same recording settings as I was using on the old mic. I've just swapped the mic over to this one. 
and you'll instantly hear what it sounds like recording into the phone hi guys welcome to the channel so today i'm going to be reviewing this uh, microphone which is a newer microphone and it comes with a full set the arm and the microphone as well as the pop filter and the phantom power so it's a full kit that you get and i normally use my akg mic to do voiceovers which i'm using at the moment but in this video clip i'll go through the unboxing i'll rush through that and then i'll give you some sample audio of my current well the new mic how it sounds and my current akg unedited this is the newer 700 microphone photography is about making informed choices there is no one way to take a picture almost any picture at its first scene whether it is a landscape a view group of people still life or historic monument could perhaps be improved upon by investing a investigating a different camera position this is the akg mic test photography is about making informed choices there is no one way to take a picture almost any picture at its first scene whether it's a landscape view group of people still life or historic monument could perhaps be improved upon by investigating a different camera position so there you can see there's a big difference in the microphones they're both unedited clips uh, there so you might have had a dip in quality but that's normally how it records directly out of the microphone and then i normally add a bit of extra of room um, which i've got an actual tutorial on so i might link that in the cards and i use audacity the voice software which lets you kind of improve the voice but anyway akg is it's in a league of its own obviously it's a great uh, microphone the condenser mic i use you can see on the table there behind me while i'm setting this one up and it's a condenser reporter's mic and you're easy looking at 190 200 pound uh, uh, microphone there so they are obviously built like a tank they're metal construction and i'll put some details to that separately but anyway this newer mic um if you're new into voiceovers and doing well your own videos and things then it's probably okay to get i mean they're relatively cheap to pick up you're looking at about 30 40 quid for the full set here um, but I have found that it's not excellent, so I think you may want to think twice, basically. <laughs> so it's uh, something that looks the part, but when it comes down to the quality, the AKG I got actually is in a league of its own, like I'm saying. But what I would say is the phantom power that they give you with it has no effect on the audio at all. So I tried it with and without the phantom power, and it sounded exactly the same. So either the phantom power unit doesn't work or there's something more essentially wrong in the background, but yep. It does look great you can clamp it to your desk and you can set it up so it's you don't have to hold it so in that sense it's okay but i would say just basically plug in your phone headphones and use the mic on that and you'll get the same quality as i got out of this newer mic so probably not great news but at least saves you having to buy it there may be other reviews out there that give you more breakdown but i've just covered the basics um, in terms of how i use the mic guys so here we go I don't think I gave this mic a good enough chance to impress me um, I set it up I unboxed it and did like a mini first video 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 or a video there's two ways of saying it I say video like a V V V video V meaning small short V video V video a short video well yeah anyway I had some comments about my videos video you know what I'm talking about Rekay. anyway so this mic setup here is gonna be the main setup at the moment I found my old reporters mic which is this one here which is this one here I'm testing this out because from a bit further away it'll give you an idea of how it sounds so right now this is me talking directly into the mic not this one this one and the pop filter is about an inch away and I'm a further inch away so maybe two inches maximum it's plugged directly into the PC and my voice sounds quite thin on this one thin as in it's not much deep bass to it whereas on my AKG reporters mic which is a D230 I would normally speak like, like this into the mic directly and it gives you a bit more deepness it's all metal construction is a reporter style mic so actually this one is better but it's a case of holding it and it's fine it's a more expensive uh, 
mic but obviously not everybody's going to be buying those mics i mainly use them for interviews on camera so more professional stuff um out and about on the field because you could put a flag box on there which um, i might have here somewhere maybe not somewhere in this maze anyway so this mic um, now well it'll give you an idea because as I've been speaking I've been moving about so this is me speaking directly into the mic if I start moving over to this side and the left hand side to see what it sounds like and you should hear if it's giving you any better or not but yeah if I come back around to this side and you can see the front sounds that way and then carry on coming around and then this sounds around the back so technically it's picking up voice everywhere because on here I can see it's giving me a reasonable um, wavelength so that gives you an idea of the actual mic direct speaking into it so the idea was I'm going to start using this a bit more because we're doing some storybooks and um, reading audiobooks so I'm not sure if this is going to be the best mic for it because it doesn't sound great to my ear but for anybody that's not too intensely into it it will sound fine but then is it worth having all this extra mechanism and taking up space if I could just use the mic and plug that out easily and get it out the way um, but we'll see how that goes and I think that's more or less my test let me try without the pop filter so I'll keep this recording let me move the pop filter so I've just moved that out the way up there and now I'm speaking directly into the mic and if I speak into the mic right up close I can see it's giving me a better audio there but it depends what it sounds like after I normalize it and then if I speak further away without the pop filter so the pop 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 filter there's no pop on there so that's meant to stop those per and all that business but let's see how it does because mics I'm more new into this kind of thing so it'll just be the case of I'm testing it as a new person would test it because some of the guys I've seen online they're actually really intense with their testing and they've got all sorts of Sennheiser mics and stuff so they use those and they, they compare this to that but for me it's just the case of as long as my audio is clear enough for you to hear then it's fine but again this is just giving you an idea of speaking from different points and the shock mount is actually quite good because it's mounted on my desk but I'm thinking because my PC sits in this desk also it does have a bit of a rumble so because this is now connected to my table will that interfere with this especially because I'm using a line in jack I'm not even using phantom power direct because I've tried the phantom let me show you that I've tried this phantom box but it's, it's really light if you see that it's like what 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 so there's like a fake box but when I sooner plug it in there was no difference there was no change at all in terms of the audio so I don't know if it's meant to be that way but we'll see we'll see give it a chance and see what it does but that is this mic I may do a switch over shall I do a switch over and give you my you know what I will do that so if I stop this okay so now I've switched over mics and I've moved from the newer mic to my AKG mic this is the main one I use so you should be able to see now what that sounds like not see but here so if I take this mic off the stand so you can see now this is a bit more relaxing so I can actually look at the screen and talk directly into the mic this obviously is hands-free but this one I can hold in my hand it's got a bit more metal construction on the top and it's actually got an inbuilt kind of pop filter so it's it's good in that sense so now you can see this one if i speak directly into it then this is what it sounds like if i speak off to the side this is what it will sound like from the side and if i'm just holding it like that and speaking past it that's what it sounds like it doesn't pick up as much from further away so you'll see as i move it away as i move it away you can hear what that sounds like there and then as i move it back to my mouth it would be a bit better so it's actually getting rid of any noise around me so it sounds better when i speak directly into it so that's probably something to think about again this is something I already had so I've been using it but I thought let's give this newer a try because it's meant to be better but now it's a comparison you've got from something I've been using which I'd consider more professional this is the AKG professional one this is entry-level mic so 
it looks the part but let's see what you think and you can hear it but it's more a case of letting you see what it sounds like and how you think it performs because obviously you'll ultimately be checking these out to see if the if that mic is worth you getting or not but hopefully this has been helpful has it been helpful ricky ricky video video Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is going to be talking about the mic options you have available to you when setting up re audio for recording. So I'll get straight into this. So the first mic I'm showing you here is a, it's kind of a hacked mic. You'll see that in my old video. It was actually a, a lead for my headphones, which had a mic built on it. And because the lead allowed me to record into my mobile phone and it had this little clip on it, I basically fold, folded it over and put a little um, that foam thing I had from another mic and this is the actual mic I've been using for a lot of my videos so everything I've recorded up until this point has been recorded off camera um, into my mobile phone onto the Rec Forge Lite app and that um, allows you to monitor your levels and give a bit of a boost so I normally do like a plus seven boost I have this it's like a lavalier mic on my t-shirt and I use that um, it's about the right height um, in terms of putting it on your shirt, hiding it by the buttons and the lead goes into my pocket and the phone's in my pocket or I leave it on the table. And that works quite well I think. I get good audio considering it's like a bit of a DIY hack job. The tape there is just to hold the two wires together, it's shining you can see. And the mic there you've got to be able to close look at that. So that's the one option I use. I'll show you what the audio sounds like on that now. Kind of. Uh while well, building up, getting better, obviously, um, better clients and that kind of thing. But a lot of them have been mainly for people that wanted certain types of images and I kind of supply those images um, in a timely frame. Now, obviously, it's all changed because once I did the shoot. Okay, so this uh, option here is the AKG mic. And this is something I've had for a while. I've used this for reporting type shoots that I've done in the past for fashion blogs. So when you interview um, the designers we use this mic it's the d230 akg made in austria it's a good solid quality mic it's all metal construction and i've had it for ages i'll say about two or three years and I've, I've just had it in the drawer lying about and i'm actually using that right now with this voiceover on this video and um, it goes into audacity and i do a few checks which i'll link up in the video which i do a little uh, adjustments on the audio to make it a bit crisper but it's got a built-in top omnidirectional no, omni mic so it's actually quite good because it doesn't take any of the ambient noise it takes just the person speaking directly into it and the cage is built onto this which you'll see is actually quite good because it's got like a uh, normally you get the big foam, foam covers but this has actually got it built into the metal, metal cage so it stops any um, pop and kind of that kind of thing so it's quite a handy mic it's got a good hold to it so when I do voiceovers and sitting in front of the computer I do like using it because it's got a good weight to it and it feels nice and you can see how the quality of this sound. this is the Canon EF 50 millimeter 1.4 lens it was first released in June 1993 this lens weighs 290 grams and has eight blade diaphragm with six groups of seven elements the maximum aperture of 1.4 and minimum f22 this lens is great for shallow depth of field effects okay guys so this one here is the third option is the purple panda lavalier lapel microphone it's omni omnidirectional condenser mic and it's a clip-on one so you can see here based on these close-ups that it's a, a decent quality mic it's got a metal um in a cage and it comes in a kit so you get a few extras with it and i'll show you what that sounds like um here this is the purple panda mic and i'm talking directly into this um there's no muff um no sound suck on it so if i touch that hello testing one two three testing one two three so it's the same recording settings as i was using on the old mic i've just swapped the mic over to this one and you'll instantly hear what it sounds like recording into the phone hi guys so this last one here is a boya mic 
it's been getting quite a good um, response online and because of that response I've got one in just to test it out and um, it's a Boya mini shotgun mic similar to the Rode mic that's the the mini version they do it's like a bit basically a copy of that I think and the dead cat you get on it is quite a big one and it's I don't like it because it sheds so if you put it in your camera gear or anywhere it's actually pieces of hair everywhere from this like a bit of a animal shedding away it's a good size mic it kind of fits in your hand it's good construction it's quite solid in terms of the build and um i've kind of had mixed things with this because when i got it it was broken so i had to kind of contact the buyer and they, they offered me a refund of the money and all that business but i was like you know i need the mic but can you just not send me the stand the holder because it looks like it's broken um and i've tried gluing it but it hasn't worked very well to try and hold it back in place it's like a bit of a shock mate so i'm struggling with this one um I, I, I'm recording on a 550D and that doesn't let you kind of control the audio levels so it's not been great for me this mic I've tried it and I've not really liked it so I'm, I'm assuming it's me because everyone online gives great reviews about it and um, I have got another camcorder a uh, HDC Panasonic that I might put this into just to test and see what it's like and um, so that's an option for this mic um, but you can see here look how flimsy it is from that stand the red stand that kind of just broke and um, but yeah i'll give you some samples of this audio at the end of this clip now just to let you know how that is but it's a good size and it fits nicely onto the camera it looks kind of the part because it looks professional and um, in terms of audio quality i'll let you guys decide and see what that sounds like to your ears uh, but it comes in a little case and it has a dead cat and there's a couple of extra leads that you can use for recording into your smartphone or if it's into um a camera so in the pouch it's not a leather pouch but it's like a little baggy thing that you can keep everything in together and um, but yeah that's my overview of the mics and i'll give you a bit at the end now just to show you what this one sounds like in my camcorder so hopefully this has been helpful for you and do check out my first version of this video if you want to see how i made the first mic that i showed you okay this is the boya mic plugged straight into the canon 550d and it's recording into the camera I'm facing the camera away but I have the shotgun the mini shotgun like pointed about four three four inches away from my face I'm talking directly into the mic there's no dead cat on this mic at the moment this is how it handles silence using the mic non microphone port jack Okay, now this is recording with the Boya mic plugged straight into the HDC 700 camcorder. I can hear the vocals in my earphones, so I've plugged it in as well. And this has the dead cat on. Okay, so this is me recording into the Boya mic from behind the camera. And that's not too bad, but it's pointing away from me. So if I now point it to towards me yeah so I'm recording into the Boya mic pointing straight towards me on the handycam and this mic is pointing about one foot away from me so that's not too bad I don't think it sounds okay because I've got the earphones plugged in however it'll be interesting to see what it sounds like on the PC okay guys so that was my overview of these mics there's a few options here and um, Hi guys, so today is a quick mic check. I've got a lavalier mic plugged directly into the Canon 5D Mark II and that's what's recording my audio at the moment. I've got the audio settings within the camera set to manual and just in the middle so it's not peaking in terms of audio. And um, So what I've done now is I've plugged my lavalier mic in but now I'll switch over to the Boya mic which is on top of the camera. If I can find the lead. That one. So I'm unplugging my lavalier and plugging in the boya okay so now you should be hearing the mic on top of the camera and that's the quality two feet away same settings as the lavalier mic but it gives you an idea of what it sounds like based on the two differences Okay, so here we go this is a test of the 5d mark 2 with the fine fine wireless microphone 
and the camera is currently about 12 feet away from me and the wireless connection is plugged directly into that while I'm here I'll do a quick setup so what I'm doing with this mic is I've actually got it set on manual in the camera and there's quite a lot of wind at the moment so you may pick that up you may not we'll test that I want to quickly show you the setup here so you'll see how I've arranged this so the actual mic fits behind so that actually rests on your side but not on your ear it's not an earpiece it's more just to stabilize it so you can see now I've got freedom of movement while I'm recording and in case you wear glasses you can see they fit comfortably as well so you can actually set that up and then put the glasses on afterwards so this is the microphone setup and I've got the system plugged up here so what we'll do is I'll change this microphone now see if I can give you an example of what the lavalier would sound like so obviously now that I'm walking about it shouldn't give you any interruption there possibly now it will do when I plug that in so I'm going to unplug this there's a little button in the back of it and now I've plugged in the lavalier mic so it's not that it's just this one here now so this would fit here and you would talk as normal so that's a quick comparison of the okay so I've changed to the lavalier mic and I'm at the moment about 10 feet away from the camera I'm just gonna walk down in the opposite direction and see how far the distance it can capture my audio so I'm still walking away from the camera I'll spin around that's maybe 20 30 feet away from the camera I wouldn't normally feel comfortable leaving the camera anyway and walking away too far anyway so it's if it's capturing this and there's no interference then I think we should be good so right now I've got the microphone plugged into the fine fine and I've got the receiver on top of the DSLR so that is fairly far away right now I'm saying that's gonna be what 10 20 30 40 50 feet maybe so what I'll do is I'll carry on walking I'm on the 5d mark 2 and I've got a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens on there and that's what you're listening to now so what I'll do is I'll walk past and see how that sounds I've got some crosswind coming over from the fence here there's a main road just maybe a hundred yards that way and a main road that way so you should hear traffic or you may hear some noise but providing my audio is clear enough to understand I think it's a win for this fine fine lavalier wireless setup because you won't have to post process it and link up the audio because it's recording directly to the camera so fairly happy with that i'll do a little bit of movement just to see how it reacts to that i have got the lavalier mic as opposed to this is a quick video to show you how the fine fine wireless mic performs on my dslr so before you go into the video if you're here just to see this it's a quick in look at what it basically sounds like to save you watching the whole video so i'm right now between two main roads and there's a lot of traffic here so I want to see how this actually performs in this scenario. I've got a few further videos further in towards the timestamp, which you can check in the description. Uh, keep an eye out for that. And those are going to be more videos to show you how to use the headset and what it sounds like in a, a quieter situation. Okay, so right now we're recording with a, a dead cat on the mic. Just to confirm, this does not come with the fine, fine microphone. It's something I'm using to check if you can hear the wind noise. Because on my foam that you do get with the fine, fine, I'm assuming that a lot of wind noise will come through. But right now, I've got this on the fine, fine mic. And we're recording directly into the camcorder. And I'll do a little walk on top of this hill so you can see how it sounds with wind because a lot of these cars going past are making a lot of wind noise and this gives you an idea of how far i am away from the camera so right now I'm maybe 55 feet away okay so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to show you the distance that this can i'll perform up to so i'm on a bike so i'm going to ride away from the camera and keep speaking and i'm going to give you an idea of how far we can get before noise um, or the signal does not get back to the camera so what I'm testing right now is the fine fine microphone wireless plugged into a camcorder and I'm using this microphone which has uh, a dead cat on this so it should reduce noise 
So now I'm about 100 feet away from the camera. You can see me zoomed in and then I'll zoom out and then come back. So there's cars crossing the path at the moment. So I'm assuming that will affect going back to the camcorder. But really, in this situation, I wouldn't really be this far away from the camera. But let's see what we got. So here we go, riding away. And this is how far I was. And I've got a bit of wind coming towards me. And there you go. Bring that right down. That better okay so i pulled the gain down which is better you know what this might actually work out okay i don't know if you can hear any background noise or how bad it sounds let me get rid of the mic that i had on that was the mic that i was using if i bring that right up here so that's just a small purple panda mic but i'm not using that at the moment i'm actually using the one that's on my head i don't even know if you can see it to be fair because let's go back to the wide view that's what it looks like quite shh to get on my face let me put that there and see if you can from there okay so moral of the story is that a difference because that's actually wireless now so i can walk around and do stuff and you won't have to worry so let me just get that adjusted is that about right there you go so it's basically like the olden days you still have the headset and the microphone so I think that might be a good test. So does it sound any better? I've got some filters on this. So if I explain those actually, because you would want to know those. So if I get my Bluetooth keyboard here and do that and do filters, I have four filters. One is a noise suppression. One is a noise gate. One is a compressor and one is a gain. Gain is set to minus 30. No, that's suppression. Gain is set to minus 1.8 that's on this software which I'm using Streamlabs OBS so that concludes my test and a live performance so you can see exactly what it sounds like I won't keep this long